What's poppin' Connor High? Today is March 27th, 2019. I'm Abby. And I'm Amaya. And today we will talk about a new book written by an author from the Woodlands and the story of mass vomiting in school. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. In breaking news, a woman from the Woodlands named Susan Langlois has written a book about the experience of a mother and daughter during Hurricane Harvey. This book is entitled Everything is Going to Be Okay. The reason for this title is because when the little girl saw that the water was rising up to 50 feet, the mother told her everything is going to be okay. She wrote this book to give children a better understanding on how to never give up on things they know they will succeed on because there's always a way out. Even though this is her first book published, this isn't her first book she's written. In May 20, 2017, Ling Lois released her memoir, Out of My World Into Theirs, which talks about how to have ability and effort to defend yourself. All of her books are meant for children to get an understanding on real world situations. In other news, the unexpected attack of mass vomiting at a primary school in North Carolina wasn't brought about by a de detestable infection, yet rather a fruit-flavored organic concentrated product, spicy food, public health officials say. Referring to a Boston County Department of Health Public Health discharge, news outlets report two dozen fifth graders and one grown-up became sick Wednesday evening at Petrie Elementary School. Health officials state the understudies the poor hygiene of students by sharing the substance and fluid, the last of which they drank from their hands, lunch plate, and other ideal channels. Now we'll go to weather. Hey guys, I'm Gabe, your weather anchor for today. Jumping straight into the weather with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 53. Luckily, enough of the sun will be mostly out. And if we look tomorrow, you can see a high being 72 and a low being 59. This weekend, it won't be as warm as today. There will be a 50% chance of storms. On Saturday and on thir on Sunday, there will only be on 30% chance on Sunday. Now to wrap things up with our fact of the day. In Arizona, it's illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Yeah, what's up in the school? Yeah, what's up in the I saw that last night. What are you doing? Huh? Don't you know what walking and talking is? Get back to class. Oh yeah, sir. my bad. My bad. See the way my legs set up. It's gonna take me a minute. You're trash. That's all I got to say. Well, I'll beat you last night. No, you weren't, bro. Oh my bro. god. And then you had your sliders up your feet. Bro, I beat you three bro. times. All you, all you do is build, bro. You know, you just trash. Oh, exactly. Oh all you do is bro, build, bro. bro. I'm playing all my classes too, bro. That's because all you do is sit around and play Fortnite bro, every day. No, no. Oh, oh my god. gosh. Oh, Come on, 1v1 me, bro. Bro, how are you going to tell me? I swear. <laughs> sports report for today. In NBA news, Joseph Nurkic had a pretty terrible injury against the Nets when he rainbowed his leg. Duke beat UFC 77-76 to in a close-fought battle. Though people were watching Zion vs. Taco, it really was Dawkins carrying UFC to the close loss. He tied with Zion 32, with 32 points. The Houston Rockets have officially clinched their playoff spot with their 113-90 shutout over the Pelicans. Rob Gronkowski is about to start his retirement celebration as he announced it last Sunday. The Patriots are unsure who will take his spot on the team. Now for the quote of the day. If you can't outplay them, outwork them, said Ben Hogan. Since March is National Nutrition Month, we wanted to share this veggie wrap with you one more time. Hey, Angel. So, remember you told me I needed to do something really interesting for my Nurse News segment? I remember that, yeah. <laughs> okay, I figured it out. So I'm really excited March is Nutrition Month and our Child Nutrition Department is coming to our campus this week on Tuesday and Wednesday during lunch. They're going to have samples of delicious healthy snacks with lots of fruits and veggies and they're even going to let our students vote with their favorite, for their favorites with raffle tickets. 
Um, you can win gift cards and even a prom ticket just by trying the yummy snacks then voting. I wanted to do what you said and really get everyone's attention, so I wrote a rap, a veggie rap. I know you're a great rapper, so I want you to do it. And I even got you a hype man, but you have to have the right look. All right, well, let's get me suited up. Okay. Yo, 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 this is 24 Karat Little Baby C. Stand up, Conroe Tigers. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Grandmaster P. Give me a beat. You can tell by the way I use my walk. The mission's nutrition, fruits and veggies rock. rock, rock. Going through the store, gotta get some more. Sliding down the produce aisle. Fruits and veggies are my style. Iron some kale, stoked it's for sale. Cooked or raw, fruits and veggies have it all. Get the real deal, bananas have a deal. An apple a day keeps the doctors away. Eat some healthy food, it's gonna lift your mood. Delicious, nutritious, so very good. Keeping it fresh, word. word. See you at lunch, Colorado Tigers. Peace out. We want to finish up our newscast today with a few announcements. Chinese Club will host a Chinese Spring Festival celebration on Thursday after school from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the cafeteria. The event asks the participants to donate $5 for the entrance. Attention seniors, if you are in the top 10% of, of the class of 2019 and you're interested in speaking at graduation, applications are available in the Tiger Den. All applications are due by 3 p.m. on April 12, 2019. The Cameron High School Feeder Information Meeting is on Monday, April 1st at 6 p.m. here at Cameron High School. Plan to attend if you can. April 9th will be the English 1 star and English 2 star will be April 11th. FFCA meeting this Thursday in room 305 at 640 p.m. Guest speaker, Mr. Gillespie. Everyone is welcome. Those are all the announcements that we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to follow us at KCIG News on all social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for more KTIG news. I was thinking about you for some time. You the gold, baby. I can't find another kind. All that fighting that you do in the end, you'll be.